Hey guys, what's up? It's Anthony from Neogen TV. Today I'm going to show you how you can reduce buffer overloads in FL Studio 9. So check it out. Okay, if you pretty much don't know how buffering overload sounds in FL Studio 9, I'm going to play this beat for you. I don't know if you heard it or not, but it basically crackles a little bit. If you want to stop the crackling noise, there are basically two alternatives. You can go to Options, Audio Settings, and turn down the buffer length. Now by turning down the buffer length, the computer reacts more slower. So if I should hit a note, the reaction time will be slow. But now because you turn down the buffer length, it should be able to play the beat without any crackling. Okay, the second alternative to reducing buffering in FL Studio 9 is using the ASIO driver. When you downloaded FL Studio 9, it came with an ASIO driver. If you did not install it, go to the link below and download and install the ASIO driver. What you need to do is go to input slash output and you should see ASIO for all V2. Now this should come up. You gotta click on show ASIO panel. Okay, so now it's gonna show you your inputs and your outputs. I know this is my input because it says Logitech mic. So this has to be my output. Make sure that all your outputs are checked and are turned on. If you might not see it like this, you need to click on the tool. It might be like this, you need to click on the tool and then click on add, the add symbol and make sure all of them are turned on. Then go back to the tool and you wanna basically set a sample or a buffer length, whatever you wanna call it. Usually I set mine to 1024, but I have a pretty fast computer, so I can set it to a little bit above that. If you have like a computer that has a one gig of RAM, you might want to set it all the way back. But for me, I leave mine at 120, 1024, but I could turn it up some more if I wanted to. Then you want to exit out of that. Then you want to go to your mixer then you want to go to your master mixer then it should be set on none it should be set on none i don't know why it doesn't want me to set on none but then you should see a whole bunch of outputs click on click on the first one it may not make a sound that means you have a wrong output Click on the second one, see if that's it. Try it and see if it plays. So that's not the right one either. And then click on, I'll click on the last one because that's obviously it. And then click on play. And as you can see, it's now playing. As you can see it was way faster than using the first method now if I should go right here and click on a key you can see that it's way faster than the first method your speed is faster okay so now basically now that you found your driver which is HD audio output one and HD audio output two. You need to go to options, audio settings, 
show RCO panel and what you need to do is uncheck the drivers that you're not using which is digital out so you want to turn that off and the headphones I want to turn that off and then I want to exit out of this so now by doing that you make this your default driver HD audio output 1 HD audio output 2 Switch to play so every time you close and open FL Studio 9 that should load up automatically okay first I want to say thank you for watching this video if it helped you out please thumbs up if you still have any problems please leave a comment below if this is your first time watching this video or watching my channel please click the subscribe button above I have weekly updates on software and music so if you want to subscribe it just a click away I'll see you guys next time peace Thank you.